combo that's going to end up something. It's not some insta-free win. There are teams who flat out Well, it's not it. an insta-free win. It's, you have to play. It's a 20 minute free win. Uh, <laughs> you, uh, have to, 25. you have to have 25. The combo's lost this tournament, for one thing, um, by some good teams have played and lost Team with it. So Liquids, it gets run over, it has a really long early Liquids, game. Um, and there's an avoid AA, so they get the good synergy with these two heroes, preemptively have a off counter to the Morphling and the AA. Turn to but, um, I, I'm okay. I think picking Morphling would have been way worse for Liquids than what they picked. Then. My question is, why opt to ban the Night Stalker for this? Because... Because Night Stalker, it, it, it's more broken than Morphling. You think so? Yes, absolutely. Well, no, no, not Morphling, Morph Shaker. Because you only have to ban one of the one of the two. The Shaker or the Morph. Yeah, you said why Ten ban Night Stalker. Right. So who do you not ban then? I guess like Mana or something? No, no, no. So I'm saying like, instead of banning Night Stalker, like, what do you think is more intimidating? Going up against Night Stalker or going against Morph Shaker? Night Stalker. Okay. I, I would have... I would say the Morph Star uh, Shaker is yeah. more intimidating. Well, it's, it, the thing is, it, it's a Night Stalker plus one. You're, it's like, yeah, it's two heroes. Yeah, so it's like Night Stalker, Stalker Coddle. Night Stalker Coddle or yeah. Morphling Shaker. I think Night Stalker Coddle is the better remaining. opponent. Okay. I think Morphling, if you get Morphling Shaker in like second phase, like that, Five and you have, if you already remaining. like locked in some heroes, you don't have good answers to it, then it can get really tricky. But they have the entire draft to respond at least. Alliances turn to ban. So then, Shiver. Yeah. What heroes did the Morph Shaker lose to? Oh, my notes are not a I don't have a search bar. I use pen and paper. Control F for me if you don't mind. <laughs> but, I, but if you give me a second, because I only yeah, yeah, wrote no, down no, no. drafts of not every team. I'm not in any teams rush. teams that are eliminated, they're not secure enough to have my <laughs> drafts written down. I think Ichi Gaming Five beat a one game. Like, remaining. ran over it in 20 minutes before. So fast yeah. push is what you're doing for I think J-Storm lost with it. Was it Vici J Storm that happened? I can look. J Storm it. lost with it, and I'm still like. J Storm did lose to it against IG. Lose to it or lost with it? J Storm lost with it. Okay. And IG had a, oh, yeah, a Drow it. TA Axe Lena Ogre. So they ban out the Axe, Drow TA. So, so yeah, fast push seems to be the answer then. Yeah, you gotta you gotta out like you gotta out time Team that more than the Axe. Yeah. To ban. yeah. yeah. The big thing is these, these heroes have a more laning stage. Um, often, yeah, like the Shaker, whether he's a support or a three position, he's just not a good hero in the early game in the lane, so can bully the fact they have a Shaker, bully the Morphling lane, get some Rubik, Abo or something. Undying and Ogre are banned out. Oh no, oh, I no. wonder Jakiro. what Fata is going to play. <laughs> Gonna have to pick the Jakiro. <laughs> The ogre undying are the heroes Five that can remaining. fight the Abaddon in lane. Hero fight it as well. Yeah, and I would like the Abaddon for Liquid quite a bit. I so think it's uh I think they're they're at least picking something along those lines, some tanky melee hero that doesn't want to get decayed or punched by this orb of venom ogre that Fata likes to go. Yeah. So um Jakira is still good at dealing with those heroes, but not on the same level. I feel like this is the kind of game that you save thirty three zero for the uh because depending on how difficult 33 is to deal with, that's going to determine how much time you can spend bullying Morph Shaker. You still got to worry about protecting your void in the meanwhile. I guess they're, they're, they're going to have the picks in a row. Yeah. I speak Ooh, for the that's, uh, I want to say that's their five position, maybe. I don't know if we've seen this, but we've seen we've seen it from other teams, but we haven't seen it from Fato, of course. Yeah, this was, was a Blightstone, Blightstone, Nakedus Prophet from right. TNC, I think. Okay, I think it was Tim. Was it not? Uh, yeah, it was four. Was it? Oh, okay, but they laned it in the safe lane with a PA. I remember. But yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, it was a four. We saw Tim Legion command actually, and once it, it was when they had a Morph Shaker. Ah, uh -huh. did they win the game? They did. Uh, TNC did not drop a game in the groups. They won versus e home with a Morph, Shake, and Nature Prophet, and then a Puck and a Venom Oh, uh, yeah, the Venom. Nature's the Prophet brings to the table is just incredibly strong laning. You go to lane with your Treants, clear Blightstone, right click people. Remaining. You have that double TP where you can use your teleportation back to base Five and your TP scroll the lane remaining. to bring your carry more regen, which is incredibly powerful in the early game. So this hero just secures your loads. And fantastic at. Oh. 
countering bounty runes, the faster you get this morph online. If you if you manage to get the Aghanims before morph hits level 15, you are on track to win the game extremely quickly. What's Limp going to play now? That's the question. Lead a Death Prophet is two most played. Two to look at, but no, so take Lich first. So 33 Matrix Prophet then. Or uh, Shaker. Or Shaker. So then four position. Oh, so Handskin Prophet maybe. Hmm. Hmm. Lich Prophet. I mean, you have two range support to just to secure Morph's lane if that's what you really want. Shaker can kind of secure his own lane with the Fissure Block to a certain extent. If they want to do their Alliance style, which is just give 3-3 three, three the bare minimum farm to play with, they can just try lane this Morph lane. The Lina would have, I think, looked better than the Death Prophet. Because you're not looking for that kind of timing where you can push towers, take Roshan. When your timing yeah. is Morph lane coming online, your mid just needs to be more Five of a flame maker, which remaining. Lina would have brought to the table. Alliance really turn to pick. Death Profit here. O D raise. The web razor would have been. What I'm saying with the stun that can make. I hear Paul Fox say Kanka. I like that idea. He's a smart. <laughs> yeah, Kanka would be very nice. Doesn't have Ten terrible mid matchups. He's got the O D. Ball Bob. And they, were ready. They, they saw that Kunk come, and they're like, we got the, the lane counter ready. Kunk is still a good hero, this is like one of the few pretty bad matchups for Kunk, so. So yeah, Fata will be playing the Lich. Still don't know what 33 is doing. It's New hero for Fata. New hero for Fata. Out of fourth, fourth one of the list. So you have to predict Alliance to win this. Oh god, he He's you're, playing a you're different so hero. Set on, you're <laughs> so set on Shaker Morph, are you? Like, oh, I, yeah. I better be here in the line. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. going. Well, so first I want to see what 33 is doing. I would, oh, which hero, yeah. I would prefer 33. Man, I don't actually know which one I would prefer. Maybe Nature's Prophet and Lane can actually cause Boy a lot of problems. Yeah. I, mean, but, see him on that. I, I do prefer it on the Prophet because I also think Prophet is not going to be able to do a great job at bullying a remaining. Legion Commander. Yep. One AA is a hero that's notoriously bad at laning against Nature's Prophet. Yeah, well. that's exactly. when Nature's Prophet was getting picked a lot because yeah. like, these five positions like AA, CM who can't play against it, but hands can pick. Yeah, I would have preferred 33 on. But I'm still going Alliance because they got more Shaker. It's the most broken combo in the game, guys. Do they have enough answers for the more Shaker gods? Uh, they have their own, you know, OP heroes. So I, I actually like Liquid Strap to be better. Oh. Um, this. This is a test to see just how good Morph Shaker is. If it can't win this game, then clearly it needs some buffs. <laughs> I oh, think yeah. if Morph out, Shaker man. loses, it's not good enough. Give him some more bonus damage or something. <laughs> the other thing is that I don't know how effective uh, Ancient Apparition is going to be in this game. They've been first phasing a clock bit almost as a defense to a preemptive alchemist. Yeah. And here it was, and yeah, it's still good against Morphling, but you don't really have anything that can like get global pickoffs with Ice Blast. It's pretty much just there in combat versus a Morphling. Maybe do you get a setup with it? Like Foxy needs to have a good game. There, guy's gonna go around setting up kills. Yeah. Where have I heard that? Every single <laughs> <English> <laughs> game. <laughs> and it worked yeah, the last it series. Did it did. It did. Otherwise, it would, would not be. We're both here tight, but one of these teams will remain in that, and the other will be able to. Uh, you can run. Before, hopefully. You should run. We're going to find out what's going to happen in the first game of this best three series with LB and. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Space Jam 2, mm -hmm. or maybe Space Jam 8 upon us. We've seen seven more fleet picks this tournament. Fog, he is 5 and 2. Okay. Clocking in around a 71% win rate. We'll see. See how it works out. Haven't I don't think we saw him at all like the last four or five days though. It was only in the group stage. Since I've arrived I'm in the early it. bracket. Yeah. yeah. Since I got I got here Sunday. I watched the group stages and I saw a lot of I saw a couple of them, but none since I've been here. So, yeah. Okay. Um, and now let's look at this. So, do they have enough to deal with it? I think they have. They, they do have some decent options and they do have some good ways to pressure. I do like the way that they have like the lead commander. I think that's a cool response to at least put pressure onto it. And I think the razor pick is like super good. I've seen Koikva dominate on this hero Just quite a lot recently. Very good matchup for him versus that Kanka too. Yeah. So obviously, Liquid have 
pretty strong late game in their own right. They have the Ice Blast to try and deal with the Morphling bit. Yeah. But, you know, he gets a BKB. You got the, the Smash Bros coming in here with the double dunks, the double fissures in the mid game. Be scary. And it seemed like Alliance, after that move shaker, they really wanted to, as you put it during the draft, like secure the lane. So they get the Nature's Prophet as their third pick. Obviously not going to offer as much in the mid to late game if he doesn't have a good start. Yeah. Uh, but should help them uh, get some early farm. Yeah, for sure. I mean, he's, you look at... I think this has been a like, thing that pro players do for a long time. Just like you see like AA and Rubik, and you're like, dude, these are some squishy, squishy supports that don't Give do anything. Give them the old right click. Give the nature's profit because they don't. Sure, you can fade bolt the tree and stuff like that to try to solve it, but you're going to get pressured. They're definitely going to be focusing. They're going to just try to be pulling the attention away from the Morphling on the side of Alliance, that is. Just try to put pressure onto the Void, make Liquid respond to you so that you can make your Morphling. To get Aghanim to win the game. Yeah, he's got five armor, Rubik has <laughs> two. He's got 61 damage, Rubik has 54, and of course, uh, Nature's Prophet, also with the Trance and more HP. Yep. Uh, the AA, oh, squishy little boy, only hitting for 49 damage without the Chilling Touch. So, yeah. uh, that said, they are going to be tri-laning. Uh, so Void should probably have a decent lane of it, but it does free up that Morphling up top to have an easy time. Yeah, they're still going to have pressure though, right? Because they're going to be pulling the lane back constantly with the uh, Shaker, and then yeah. the they just profit the Morphling. So I'm surprised this hero actually just like, disappeared. I know a lot of teams just haven't really touched him at all, but he has gotten nerfed quite a lot, and I know like no tail, he still really loves the hero. He always tweets about it and stuff like that, so... Admiral Bulldog probably smiling somewhere right now if he's awake. Uh, if not, I'll have a nice little treat to yeah. go with his breakfast. I'm wondering how much how much can they actually pressure this morphling? Because box, you know, Legion Command is one of the better ones to pressure. But they're, there's a Lich. You know, Lich is really good at securing the lanes for himself. So I'm wondering if they're going to maybe even move the lanes, not do a full tri lane bottom, but yeah, we'll see how it plays out. Team Quatrians. Mickey. Mickey. What's rune? Let's have the point in time walk. No, we actually and just will snag the rune. Huh. So, ends up being uh, three for one. And th three reveals that he has Enchant Totem, not Fissure. He right. uses it right at the start. So they're going to know he's just focusing on those last hits, not going to be trying to pull the lane that much. And, and they are going to go to the 2-1-2. Two, two. Yeah, they're going to swell it up. This is, I think they kind of like have to. It's like, good, you want to secure your voice farm. You cannot let Morphling just get a full free farm lane versus Legion Commander. You have to do this. So the trade-off pressure on Nick Day. We'll see how he, him and Insania can handle this nature's profit. They're gonna have trouble down here, I'd imagine at least. They have no AOE with the Rubik on. Yeah, and look at oh, look at AA hitting those trains. They don't, they take zero damage. So it's gonna be up to Mickey if he can just, just like straight up blast it. Insania, I don't think he's gonna be able to help too much unless the rotation comes. To the well, our mid lane, uh, Quake on the Razor up against Limp on the Kunkka. We've seen this matchup a few times. Seems like one of Kunkka's roughest, if not the roughest matchup he has out of uh, the common mid picks. I think the two favorite for me versus Kunkka is, I mean, one hero's kind of dead right now. One is Monkey King. I know uh, OG, especially the Tops and Luffs, that one a lot versus the Kunkkas, even at TI, and Razor, yeah. These are two of the strongest just to shut him down. So, I got already spamming up the Fade Bulls up top, keeping the pressure. On Nico, baby, but with more flame, we've seen it's all about getting that level three, and that's when you become very difficult. So he's playing pretty safe for now. Mid lane looking good though, seven yep. and four on the razor, getting those denies. Two other, I think two of Liquid's lanes should win on paper right now. The Legion Commander Rubik and then the Razor should win mid, but bottom I think yeah, it should be hard. But Mickey is starting to get his farm up, and they have a lot of regen down bottom, which is great. They have four Tango Salve on Insania, three Tango Salve on Mickey too. So. Already got the stick as well as Taiga taking some heavy damage top. This could potentially be a kill. They've got another Frost Blast here. Fada playing with him, but Bakhti comes in for the support. He had stick plus Fairy Fire. He's being a bit He's actually brought also two Salves top, so they... This is all about the regen war. The for great Liquid. regen war of 2019. And he's going for the kill, Fada. It's Fada starting to be in trouble. Taiga has that mango, has a level one fate bolt. Is he going to commit for it? Not fully, but this leaves Nico Baby unprotected in the lane. Only five CS. I swear, I see. I, I've seen more more fairy fires than ever in the last like two three months. Just for that outplay potential. Yeah, just and, like, these these supports just trying to go for that little play there, right? It's just like. Oh, they used the spell. Oh my god, I used this fairy fire and survived. They got a squish, like, turned around kill. See it happen quite a lot recently. They TP out the Nature's Prophet. I'll be, I imagine, rejoining the lane. Maybe thinks about wait on Tiger Top. Let's see, hasn't committed with the teleportation just yet. He's waiting to pick up an item or two. Yeah, he's picking up 33 items before he gets back down. 
So Taggart on some uh, stacking of his own potentially up here, just playing with the creeps. And uh, Mika is not getting pressure that much right now. They're doing a really good job bottom to control and make sure he gets that farm. So if the lanes don't go well for Alliance, do you think they're not a lot of trouble here? Or do you see them as light up they can you know, easily recover in the mid game? I know, I, I wouldn't call it a lot of trouble. They're in trouble, but the one thing that you look at uh, the lineup of Liquid is they don't really push hours at the fastest rate. So it's all about like actually start to assert their dominance and use their gold lead. Exactly. Yeah, the only damage they're really gonna have to hit towers uh, is the Razor Rikes. Yeah. Press the attack, I guess, so they can fall through the people. Eco baby. Okay. Pressure here by Boxy. In comes the Lich, the Fate Bolt. Not enough damage to get the kill. It's only a level two Morphling, though. Fado will hush Taiga away. Dude through another salve. Lich still sitting on a decent amount of Riku gem. A salve up on the Morphling. Of course, he had to press the attack here on the Legion Commander. He's got his old salve, Mango, and. You know, stick tangos, so it's just all about regen in these lanes. Yeah, cancels Nico baby salve a bit there. Taiga! Taiga could be in danger here. He's got the stick charges. Boxy's coming in. Press. press the attack. The quick turnaround. Fada, who's going to be our first blood? Gets lifted back in. He engages. That's the plus one factor. Hanskin comes in. He secures it. Gets up the sprout just a second late. Fada barely able to hit him. And that will be a one for one trade. Nice TP there from, I think he like just was coming back up, right? From being down bottom. Yeah, because it's only the, the level one, so 50 second cooldown. Yeah. Timing there for, for Hans to get to come in there, but still the lanes. It's 1k gold lead anyway for Liquid off of all this, just because of how these lanes are playing out. Mid is 29 to 9 to the 19 too, having an excellent tie. And bottom lane's even in the yeah. CS, despite having this nature of profit. He's just doing, I mean, the thing is, the, he's just doing better than the Morphin, which is always like super important as Mickey. Now, he's gonna go up. Mickey here has the Enchant Totem. Mickey already used his time off. It's down for a while. He does have Stick Charges. He's got a Quellum Blade. Need one more Enchant. They get the kill. They use Stick Charges there. He has to know the Totem's coming. That was a little greedy there by Mickey to not pop him early on. A lot to think about, you know, wondering if that's, that Sprout's gonna come out and yeah. just hesitated. Too much. Maybe he was thinking I'm dead anyway and I want to save the one charges, not too sure. I think he lives with it. Because yeah. he also has a salve. The time walk was cooling down soon, but mm -hmm. well back in the lane as the groups are pushing in, so he'll catch up in CS here. Yeah. But that's a big kill. Yep, big kill for them to get that start as who got the last hit, right? It was 33? It was. No. Oh it's nice to get your Earth Shakers early on kills as you know, levels for your Earth Shaker means Morphling has a better time when you get that aggro. So if you have a Max Enchant Totem, super happy. And the worst time for everyone else on Liquid. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And especially also because their their stables aren't the strongest on Liquid either, right? They only have like Void, the Duel, and the Rubik. Rubik and Void are pretty good because they're quick to be able to catch that Morphling, but yeah, it could be a little bit harder for them to actually get on him and slow him down from just junk dunking and slamming. Everywhere and does inevitably come online. Eco Baby still struggling a little bit in this top yeah. lane. Getting 11 eyes on the Legion Commander. Gets another one under the tower. Foxy is not making life easy. Limp, meanwhile, getting bullied a bit away from his own neutrals. Strong lanes. So he, talking he's about keeping up in CS, but a lot, I think a fair amount of these are neutrals because his net worth is a full thousand down on the Razor. This is it's start for Liquid, and I don't think they should. They should have been fought up top, press the attack. They've got a duel. They might just get a free kill here. Fado wasn't able to get up the frost shield. He's going to go down. Gives that early damage to Boxy, who's very, very tanky. A thousand HP. Bo coming in, though, looking for the turnaround. They should get the Taiga trade, but it's a big commitment. Bringing in the Kunkka for that, the Nature's Prophet. Yep. Got him. Razor, third three. This bigger kill if they can claim it. He's juking job and not able to get out Not there. juking good enough. So they get the, the off lane shaker kill, the trade, a root pick, and of course, big pick off on the Lich with the dual damage early on. Mm -hmm. I like that rotation from Koikfa, right? You see the is not landing. You have two options. Either you sick and you try to push the tower or you make a move yourself. So do like the key decided to be a little bit more active as his void was getting a little bit pressured at least in the lane. I think Liquid should just keep staying up top, that's what I was trying to say before, is just to keep throwing their bodies, even if they do lose a hero or something, they lose Taiga, who cares? Just keep putting bodies up there to put the pressure on this mode flank, because yeah, like you said, Nico Baby's getting slowed down heavily. They are keeping the pressure up, and a Legion Commander ahead with the fate, but he can just run in with right clicks, force you off lane, sure, you may not die, but not farming. Yeah. And more fleet, 
I'm obviously a great, you know, hero killer and like mid game comeback hero in that way, but you know, this this hero does not flash farm neutrals at this stage. Like he needs some big items before he can really clear creeps quickly. Yeah. It's not a gyro helicopter or TA with giant stacks in the jungle. Yeah, there was, there was a time when we saw a lot of the Morphings doing like the, uh, you get the like Morbid Mask, you get that Life Seal and you go hit some Ancients at one edgy. He's a safe lane and he's gonna have to... And you're against AA, so I don't can. even know if that's in your early game kit. Right? Yeah. Maybe for your farm position. Maybe eventually, probably. Something like that, but maybe not this game either. That's another thing. They're gonna TP in. They're making a rotation bottom. It's gonna be three heroes coming in with Lamp. They've got the X, they've got the boat. Mickey pumped by the torrent. The damage, it's not enough just yet. He's got the stick charges. He's gonna walk it up. The sprout comes through just to try and block off the path of retreat. Not sure they get this kill. There is a die ongoing top as they're chasing the Lich while this is happening. They need to get Mickey here. Another chance for them. Chrono deployed. Mickey's gonna make it out with the south. He's gone. And meanwhile, there's a duel on Lich. There's a kill for Boxy plus 20 damage. Nico Baby still being pressured all the while. And they get nothing. Everything. I mean, it's really going super well for Liquid. Look at that. Like, 3k gold lead plus. They get a rotation coming from the Kunkka. They don't set up the kill bottom. This is. Oh, and they're seeing a tower mid. Yeah. Koikfa, maybe not going to finish it yet, but that's a lot of damage. For You mentioned a great push, but if there's no one in lane, he can just click the tower. Oh, and he actually just walks in and gets a D ward just like that. It's, all right, some nice easy gold for Koikfa. He's walking in, maybe looking to, for some stacks and stuff, but just taking away, denying that farm from the Gunka. So can this nature's Prava be the X factor? He is about to hit level six on Hanskin. That's they pretty have early. the Wrath of Nature. They, middle tower. they haven't done any damage to towers with him, though. You know, despite the leveled up nature call, just haven't seen any push opportunities. And honestly, Liquid, they've got great deep push. A lot of AoE, a lot of nukes. So they need hero kills to make these push happen. Yeah. Instead of, I mean, he'll get there eventually. Like right now, he's focused more on just like the lane. Like when he was TPing, it's like to like help him morph, but in time, he will. They're going to defend those. mid. They do throw the frost somewhere on the tower, but Quakefoot is relentless, just keeps on backing away. He will claim it very early, no defense. I cannot believe they actually did not send anybody mid for that. That is like the most important tower in the game right now for Alliance. Now Quakefoot can just continue walking into the enemy jungle, and Morphling's home is Morphling's home is not very, very easy for him, safe at all. To, to quote Winter, it might be in trouble. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that one. <laughs> home in trouble, home, home in trouble. trouble. <laughs> I miss Winter. I miss Winter. I miss him constantly flaming me. Dyer's top nice. Top nice. Top yes, Mr. Gorman. Yes, Mr. <laughs> so Nico Baby's got to retreat to the jungle here. Uh, Splash comes through onto the shrine, just barely clipping it. That's just obnoxious. This I know. It's constantly happening now, too. And they've got this ward. Uh, I'd imagine Taiga maybe thinks Dyer's about a new ward placement. Top Doesn't top have top one top in his inventory right now. Speaking of Taiga, also we see some gold appearing above Taiga's head because Koikfa is farming massive stacks that were stacked by that Rubik. So getting a little bit of extra gold for that Rubik and Koikfa's the arcane boots. Yeah. Any moment now. Koikfa's 110 last hits on this phrase right now. This is everything's just working together here for Liquid. And the thing is, even if Mickey was on your farm, that is your damage in the chronosphere. They are gonna find an opening top though. Rotation it onto Boxy. Last hit going to Nick baby, and it's a killing spree. Oh, a lot of oh. He's gotten a kill. Oh, the no. first... Let it begin. <laughs> no. Let it begin. <laughs> it is one of the... One of actually... hit, there, there's your flash farm potential with the overwhelming odds. And the, and the press the attack, too. Yeah. It's actually a really good thing that he can turn into early on. Got one component of the eggs. You know, some money towards the Radiant's skin. Top mm -hmm. tower is under attack. It looks like he's skipping the Yasha early, which we often see. Yeah. That's actually like your like your farming kind of mechanic item, so it looks like he just really wants to get the items. They're just feeling like, just get this eggs and let's just frag. Bottom lane, 33, he's been caught out. They committed a chrono for this. Can they bring that Earthshaker down? They need a bash. No, not even, just shatters. Nice kill by Liquid. That was the second Ice Blast. And it scores a kill as Henskin is rather boldly farming the enemy wolves here. Pick up his Vlads. He really, I mean, he really wants to snipe at the barrier, it looks like. Hey, look at that ward put up there. He's in. The, he's been here for over a minute now, just kind of chilling. I really hope that Mickey would get that last kill, though, because he's actually queued up the Midas, so he's trying to go for some a uh, bit of a greed build. As they do have a pretty good lineup if they can actually scale quite hard. I think this works when your Razors had such a good start. Yeah. Like, you don't need the Void to be the big right clicker. but And he should be able to get off Chronosphere in the mid game, I would say. Though, at some point, you do have to worry about that chain stun from the morph shape. 
there. Liquid are gonna smoke. So they send three to top. Actually, backing up Boxy. They want to get want to get aggressive wards down. Right now, they don't really have much vision on the map at all. They only see that bottom. But yeah, you see them drawing that circle there. And it's like, yeah, we got we got to start covering our bases. You know, Morphling's starting to get away with going to the junk farm up. Because, yeah, the second piece of that item is, is picked up now. Like a nice smoke. We're going to see some battles with this. Yeah. You know, you, you don't get this Ags rush with no Yakuza just to, like, kill and farm. They want to get some kills. Yeah, he's actually knocking. He might have very early on that it's like might quite catch far them off guard, you know. Like the morph duration talent's also really important for him to have to be able to actually abuse that a lot. So he might have it before he even hits level 15 of this raid. Be awkward. A little bit for See. Long, yeah. And they're they're losing towers at an alarming rate as tier one top fell. Tier two top now being threatened. Koikfa just fearless with the mag uh sorry with the Yules standing behind the enemy tier two. Oh, bottom. Boxy setting up. Uh, duel number three. It's looking likely. Ice Blast coming in. Fissure interrupts. At least block the duel damage. But, he but he's going to shatter. And meanwhile, in the jungle, they found Mickey pulling pulling him in. Can the Lich make a big play? Not enough damage. Just walks it off. He actually just ends up surviving again. And that's before he even has a little 10 talent. They, they're just trying to blow everything on him. What was was that boat and chain frost? It was. They, they used everything to try to bring him down. They couldn't. That's a concern. Yeah. It's still a level one boat. He's level 13, and this go with all is only 11. Level two boat, maybe that's a kill. They got the. Looks like they got what the 1D ward, I believe. Yeah, they did get the 1D ward, but a sneaky ward was placed to buy liquid up on that little clip that you can you know you cut the tree you see a little sliver of yeah vision into the dire jungle it's up on the d ward too because if you actually don't have vision of the high ground there you can't put us you can't actually like do anything you have to get vision in order to see that the tree was cut down otherwise you can't actually cut it it's a really weird kind of mechanic that works for support and yeah, they don't have i guess they could tp on the hill but then but here comes the initiation 33 catching the boxy but who's caught whom he gets the room he gets out Safely, and it will be another triple bounty room grab for local 6k gold. Yeah, with a void, building a Midas with an NA to deal with the Morphling later on. If you were gonna write a script to counter more Faker, this would be the start. Yeah, and it's looking good because they've taken, they've taken two towers. They want us, I think they want to start moving forward to get another tower down here. Boxy that's really moving on the limp. They get Quilfa in position, the Lich there to protect him, throws out the defensive boat. Die. Will disengage. Pop the drum, charge, and everything to get out of there. I have to respect that early bull damage on the Legion. There's Tiger's gonna find him. Get, sprout them up, quick lift, drop them back, and reinforcements arriving. They're gonna commit the crop for this. Box is on cooldown, but they don't need it. And still will go down. Last hit to Taiga. Already a blend's complete. With the pace of the game going, right? Mick is like, whatever. I'm just cornering whoever I see in front of me. Like, it's a kill's a kill. You know how defensive at the moment Alliance is playing. Alliance can't really make moves on the map. So, yeah, sure, why not? Is a Morphling Egg. It's about to happen. Is, he... A, is he going for a solo Insania? Don't think it's not. He, he was going, he wanted it, but yeah, it's not even close. It, it's nothing else, it's like, just his ability to farm safely. Yep. Thank now that no Insania is down here. And will he stick around? They're hunting. They don't quite see him. They don't scout him out. He will TP away, and Nico Baby keeps on farming. So, that's the X. Ag's complete levels are Shaker. He does have Max and Chant Totem, so that 144 build is Dyer's available for more of them to have a lot of fun with. Attack. And for us to all have fun with it, watch it. We'll if see. they can make it worth, be, work, because Liquid are they're doing everything right so far. Taka, just harassing up here top. They are making a move on bottom with Koikfa. Slowly lashing Hanskin. He's got the Eagle Scepter, but oh, just gets the vision. And now, now another duel. There's the duel and another win. 30 damage on Boxy. And you see, of course, Boxy, he's doing a little hook trick. You lock your hood and disassemble it in the fight, so you get that pipe complete for the double barrier usage. They're, I mean, they're doing, like you're saying, they're doing everything right. They're moving from lane to lane, getting these pickoffs, continuing the. Goldie without losing much of anything. Koikva, Yules, and BKB done 20 minutes. Oh, the, the paint came Ooh. out right at from Taiga. So they have seen this Ags rush. And they, they're aware it's not alone. Now the, the back towards Manta. Alliance not like in any rush to make a move here, it seems. From what we've seen in the past, why would they be right? <laughs> 
is a tight game, though. I mean, they have so much lockdown for this guy. Chrono, Legion Duel, Rubik with an early Aether Lens, now building towards a blink. And you've got the Ice Blast, so we can't just rely on healing up and fight. It's, it, it's not a free Morphling game. Definitely not. There are, there are some... They, they do have some cooldowns, though, right? Chrono and Legion Duel are pretty long. Besides that, it's just the Rubik lift to catch up, so it can be... A little bit difficult if they don't have a good position for it. But yeah, the lens is definitely gonna help. And if you get the blink dagger at a good timing, those instant disables are always amazing. Farming some neutrals here as Liquid looked to descend on the mid lane. Saw Eco Baby. Look how defensive Alliance is playing. They're just like, all right, everybody kind of stick together. Be very careful. It's really strong right now. Yeah, BKB up on Quake Fi. It's 3k up on the more flame. It's had a flawless game so far. Over 10 last hits a minute. It really reminds you of like the old Fada Razor, where he's just somehow like, keeping up in farm while constantly pressuring. I think this is one of Oikpa's new best heroes. I know people always talk about him as like the Lone Druid Tinker kind of guy and everything like that, but he's really expanded his hero pool a lot recently. And I mean, his Razor has been dominant in most of the games. Especially when you get to last pick it and you go to the matchup. Yeah, it always feels good. And they snap picked it. They knew, this con they knew the Kunko was coming, so. Dyer's Pipe now complete. All falling. the tools for some additional Radiant's pressure coming online. Blink Dagger 2 for the Legion. Radiant so more ways scanning. to catch that Morphling if he's not expecting it. As we do have smoke now coming out. Nico Baby, he's turned into the Earthshaker. Oh, the scan caught it, though. They know. Oop. And he hops out of there. Fissure off the mark here. Tuck is like, I would love to snag that. Can't get it in the range, though. They do get a, a solitary D ward out of it. And we see that Morphling, the cooldown, how long it really is early on. Of, of course. It's level 18 when it really gets super insane because it's always up that morph duration. It's pretty, yeah, pretty crazy. It goes from 100 to 40 seconds at 18. Now that's, that's what I think I actually notice how low it is at <laughs> next level. 40 seconds. Here comes the duel at the bounty room. Another duel win for Boxy. 48 damage. Almost to a free Sacred Relic here. It's having a very good game. I mean, everybody on on uh, Liquid so far is having a super solid game. Now they're invading. Take farm away, too. 10k gold lead. Quiet game. Only 9 to 4, but Liquid's doing just right. Everything is going perfect. Looking to show the uh, new alliance that old alliance still kings of the sand pit. Thought we would be having a lot of Radiant's trouble with this one, just calling them the wrong names over all the time, but far so good. Yeah, I mean, there's not really any grudges between the players. It's no. more just, uh, you know, some fans thinking that Alliant did load a dirty. Or I guess Liquid now. But here comes the fight as Fada. The Sinister Gaze delays the inevitable blows the chain for us. That's some cooldown for 100 seconds, and Liquid are going to push. He has 262 damage, too, so he can just take that this tower pretty quickly. Oh, my God. look at the damage, like you said. Big tower melting. They are going to catch out Mickey. They get a Fissure. Can they find a quick kill here? The secondary Fissure does not get Mickey, though. And Nico Baby, respectful and hesitant. Not jumping. This is not how we're used to seeing Alliance play around Nico Baby. Like, he's normally a very aggressive carry in mid game. I think he's given respect to how well Liquid did in this laning phase. Like, they are absolutely aware of what's going on. Big A, he's found Hanskin, he's got Chrono, and... Hey, Sprout. Ice Blast is coming in, but not gonna come. Yeah, I think they have to, you have to give the kind of respect to Liquid when you just you see how the way things are playing. I'll show you, to four kills don't always mean anything, but you get a feel of the game when you're pressured this hard in all of your lanes, and you're not actually pressured to put in the bottom lane, so... Yeah. So 33 is not going for an exit zone. He's got a Yule's queued up, a potential Shadow Blade or Silver Edge later on. Oh, so kind of a utility shaker. Won't be seeing them slam together as we love seeing, you know, both of them jumping in on each other, but it's just not the same, man. We want full Harlem Globetrotters. Nice, so you didn't even have it like cute like way later on. He's got Yule's, Forest Staff, Shadow like, I will like... get all of their items before I get the set. Yeah, it's interesting to see that. Any sense of timing here for Liquid? Like, is there a point where they want to try and take high ground? Or are you totally content to just sit back, got your GPM talent on the AA, your head and net worth, 
avoid with the mice and just chill and farm. I think you're pretty content. Like, yeah, the Morphling Shaker, it's this Radiant extremely strong combo, but Void is also an insane hero, especially in the later stages of the game. This hero just wins the majority of the games Radiant if it goes late. Just for the nature of Chronosphere. And they don't really have saves either. If he does get, like, if, if he gets a good Chronos, we're just dead. Another goal, and like, another goal. Oh, Fisher comes in. Hampkin turns around with the defensive sprout, and it will make it out. Ice Blast just a bit late. I think it would have been okay anyway, as the hood plus the pipe that he was up to pick up. It did not come. Disassemble and complete the pipe. Also, they have the, the Midas Void too, which like all these little things do start to play together that they can scale infinitely on that uh, liquid lineup. But it's all just what is the potential. This is where, like you said, this is the time to test. Can the more players do it? Especially with this type of advantage liquid is. And the way they're playing, they're playing super disappointing. I mean, if they win this game, then I think the arguments, <laughs> like you see it first, you picked. You've got a full draft to counter, you cross the lands, barring liquid just throwing. You know, if they play their best and they still lose, then you gotta think that the nerf hammer is coming. Yeah. Frog is watching. Go, baby. Now does have that 15 talent. He's sitting around the Earthshake quite a bit. Ups a little bit with that cooldown. With that ability. And it continues to just be Alliance kind of playing the huddle. They're all playing pretty much within a couple seconds of each other to make sure that they don't get pressured by Liquid's movement. And Liquid also just continuing to push the gold advantage. It's, farming. it's not staying static here. <laughs> Up to almost 15k gold lead. 10k experience lead as well. It's just continuing to go up at the same rate. After them. Nice steal here Dyer, for Tango with the level 4 torrent. Combine that with the telekinesis some longer duration. Yeah, that is that's actually, a, that's a serious good. chain stun. Probably his I'd say like his second best skill he could get in this game, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, like Boat and everything too, but Boat's super... I think like Fissure and Torn are the most likely you'll get as your best ones. Boat is, of course, amazing, but very tough to get sometimes. The X could be nice if they don't have more damage. Yeah. But Fada will get a bat. Bounty rune here, and Tiger quick to come in. Throws it to the sun. Follow-up duel is there. Another one. More damage for Boxy. 66. Literal infinite scale. That is a good thing. They should just go for 100 mini game. <laughs> All right. Case closed. There is no point where Alliance can outscale Liquid now. This has to be one of the best Legion starts we've seen all tournament. He's 5-1-3. and three. He, He's fifth in CS, which is very impressive considering how active he's been. Yeah, I feel like the hero just kind of disappeared in the last few days. And I'm, not, I'm not really entirely sure why. I think he's still super strong. Like, teams are all about picking this hero from for like the last two months, and then now recently just like disappeared. This is a perfect display of why the hero is... I think we've seen a little more of teams sacking the off lane and just kind of leaving some of their own places. That's true, actually. Uh, for the last couple days, but this is what can happen. He's getting a roast with two, like two heroes, pretty much. Boxy's just playing outside, using just the attack. Well, no way for Alliance to go into this pit with, like, the Nature's Prophet lip support, though. They just feel very outgunned in team fights. Yeah. Like, they need these chaotic, you know, snowball morph engagements, and tough to get those started when Liquid are so far ahead. They're probably not catching the Rubik unless he blunders. He's got a blink up now. Rubik with a blink, that's a... And an Aether. And, 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 and he's got 2,000 gold. This is, I mean, this is the dream for them to just be able to catch the Morphling too. Good luck protecting your Fissure at this point. Yeah. I think he might actually just have to go for BKB on Nico. He wants to set up. He's going to jump up hands down. Bottom gets the lift off into the torrent. Ice Blast come in. Reinforcement in the form of Boxy was in the neighborhood. But just a bit too far away. He's not going to try to follow that up. A bit too scary as they don't really see anything on the map. Here come the, the TPs, though. They see tier one bottom. They do not want to leave these outer towers up any longer. It's quite this is insane. It's just. He's a satanic as well, though, you know, just chilling on a satanic at 27 minutes with two other items. Or it gets hard for all shakers if they can't chain burst like her. And right. that's exactly it. He's got the Yules and satanic. So yeah. many interruptions. And then the perfect attack item with a pipe, because they have so many different forms to kind of protect this very tanky razor. I love this build from Quakefa, and it's, it's like the least optimal morph situation. Yeah. 
He gets his BKB, but again, there is still Chronosphere. They're still dueling. He's gonna make a go here. Committed they're jump off the ledge. They're gonna try to find Lip as well. Huge takedowns and now 84 damage on Boxy. I think I'm mean, systematic from Lip. After such a long, after like such a long time in this game, where you're just looking, you're like, Alliance is not making moves. I think as Liquid, you're fine. Let's we can start just killing people over the map when we see them because Alliance just doesn't want to fight us at all. Mickey feeling himself. Well, chat has that Aegis. Shoves it in the middle lane. They're gonna see Hans can farm you bottom, and Tiger wants to punish this. TDP coming in from the Legion Commander. They'll likely have a nice blast any moment. Three seconds to go. He's gonna hold onto the lift. Get sprouted for that right out, and that should be a dead nature's prophet. Good lift, good ice blast. They love to wait for the duel here. Oh, oh, <laughs> Oxiel. He's like, Tiger, please. Can you just chill, bro? Got the attack. Brock can just insta kill them pretty much. Yeah. Oh, well. He's getting hard, though. So, who who are you going on at this point? For I guess AA, if you can find them. Yeah. They're all going to be pretty tanky to get burst up by that chain stun combo. They're just continuing 18,000 gold lead. Surely at some point Alliance is going to try a play, right? That's what I would imagine as but well. But I, I just feel hopeless when I'm, if I'm I look at all these liquid here. It's like, we don't have that much vision. There's no one to easily jump and pick off. So maybe we just have to wait for liquid to get cocky. The thing is, they don't really have playmaking supports on Alliance, right? Like, right. They have that Lich and P. Lich and P. So it's, for, it's up to the cores. They just have to kind of try to make that move, but they're trying to make sure that they get their farm still. Like, Limp, he wants this halberd. Nico, of course, wants to get as much farm as possible. It's really up to 33 to try to look for these moves, but it's tough. Level 18 now on Morphing. This might be where they start going, right? Dying He's going to always in our shaker Sometimes form now with that multi duration plus his level 18 skill point. All right. They're moving in, grouping up. Grouping up against Liquid. That team fight combo is fearsome. Yeah, and they've got about a minute and 20 Dying seconds left until that Aegis is, is gone on Nikkei. Okay. Fada's going to be the man in front, as he often is. Trying to set something up here, but Ooh. sweeping in for me. I'm going to walk right into Hanskin. Triance scouting him out. He'll farm those up. Thank you very much. And the scan hit the Pater. Finds these alliance here retreating frantically. Smoke coming through as they try to get back in the trees, but they're going to run right into Koifa. Quick pop away from Nico, baby. He just wants to get out, and they're going to sacrifice Fada. Another kill for Liquid. The chase, not going to find anything else. Alliance are gone. They'll try to grab bounty runes. But look at Liquid. Look at Liquid immediately with the TP. They want to fight. They are not giving away free bounty runes. Alliance Lance actually good. not even going for this one bottom, but they are giving away free Nature's Prop here. Quakema locks him down. Here comes the Void. Here comes the Duel. I'll take that damage. We are now into three digit territory. 100. Oh, and two plus damage. They're playing, I mean, playing the map so well, the way they just move, they take by top. They, they lay an echo game. slam. They kept Taiga here, quick assassination. They had to play it perfectly for even that. But that's a dominating streak. That's big kill. And the rest of them should get out safe. They're just a little bit he hesitant because that it just, it is going to be taken down. That's why we saw them kind of just ditch the fight immediately because they're playing into an Aegis in that area. You now they're back up in far. Yeah, no echo slam available. Yeah, you know that Donna's liquid. You're pushing. Yes. Quick will take this tower. He is. He's, he actually doesn't even have backup, but does not care. I mean, he's just so he's so strong. He's a thick boy. He really is. Butterfly coming soon, and that's a great solution to the, this. Uh, more fake right click, I suppose. However, the problem is that when you do are in pet totem, you have true strike. That is true. So he will actually be able to hit him, but but it's probably not enough to finish him. So like those extra right clicks afterwards, likely able to be be satanic. Yeah, I mean he'll, he should have time. He's he's still very tanky. He did take the armor talent, which is a little surprising. But maybe just I've seen when you're like really far ahead on razors, people do take the yeah they take the eye. This a lot of damage. As a heart is not finished, also on Boxy. Oh my god. There's a lot. Of very they are heroes. big. Yeah. They are strong. Could they possibly lose a fight? That is the question. Just don't get split up. Don't do some don't do some tag team stuff. Don't run around as two. That's where you start getting combos by them. No, no, no cloudy circus shenanigans. No, just still be careful. You have an ATK gold lead, but we've seen the potential. That is where the Nature's Prophet maybe come in. He's building towards a 
Max. He's got, I mean, he's, got, he's farmed he's pretty well. Pretty far along, and the nature of that hero is to spread your team out. Yeah. So perhaps Hanskin can be the X Factor, even if he can't contribute that much in team fights. There's the next talent, the cooldown reduction on top of Spooky. on top of the <laughs> mana cost reduction. Spooky. Very, very spooky times ahead. Liquid aren't spooked. They're grouping up. Thinking about a high ground speech here despite not having the edges. Flat flat being delivered to Koikba. Right. Yeah, the storm. Double fissures. Double fissure. Jump Initiation on Demeke. They get a follow-up fissure, but the Morphin does them instead. Now the duel comes through on the back line. Locking down. 33 on the Earthshaker. Morphine's got to get out. They're all going to look to retreat. Chain Frost committed. BKB for Mickey was used, but he's still got the Chrono. Oh, this is where it could get a little dicey with that X, but do you really want to go on a Heart Pipe Legion? I think not. That looked like it could have been a start of a big fight there. Liquid with the disengage. Just disappointed by Liquid not blowing spell. They didn't have an easy team fight. Yeah. Wait, Nico, baby, he wants, he wants to try and catch them on the retreat here. He knows that BKB is on cooldown. He saw the void head bottom. But there is that rating observer ward. They had it up again. Scouts a lot of these movements. Yeah, they haven't dewarded any of the times it's been up there yet. See what Todd does. He doesn't actually doesn't have a sentry right now. It's gonna be coming. He might finally check that spot soon. And can Hex come soon? Hey, he's just like you said, he's just trying his best to spread them out. Keep spamming his ult. Oh, that's, that's gonna delay it though. Ice has duel and another kill. Boxy at 128 damage. Additional. Yeah, yeah, of course, taking the last hit. Not intentionally though. Did you see a, a, a halberd pick up on the Kunkka to try and deal with this Raider in some of these upcoming fights? I think this is like Limps. Lim Zero, that he always builds the same items, I think. I think I, every game I see him play, he goes drums, BKB to Halberd. I think that's just the build that he's really comfortable with, that he likes to play, and it is synergized with the I mean, Halberd oh, is really good on Radiant scans again, they're gonna find someone in its lip. Caught out. Smoking, going instant initiation, and the just right clicking. The Yule Scepter dodging the boat, tries to TP out. Gonna be able to make it out too. Oh, Dire got scan to connect as well. See Insania. Roaming around here, he's got backup in tow, Observer Ward planted. It's only Fada though, and they are shoving in the bottom lane. Before that kill, I was gonna say, Alliance is actually getting out on the map, you know, spreading it pretty nicely here. They, they, they did get a lot of push going on the yeah. bottom. They're actually There's coming to try and help coming. him. Eco Baby's here. Liquid are a little spread in. Can we see an opening? Do we have Fissure with the Echo? Follow up damage coming through. Boxy's being controlled. Jets gets arriving to the fight. Can they get this Legion or this Razor? That would be huge. BKB hops away, says, no way. I am out. So, just an ancient apparition who brought back. They got the. the the Earth, uh, the Earthling's actual uh, morph ended, so he wasn't able to just constantly jump around, and they got the full link off. Even though it was a close time, they didn't have all the perfect type of follow up to so just chain stun them down. It's like we talked about with uh, Foxy's with tanky. Koikva also is having so many ways to like, reset the fight if he needs to. Yeah. They just they built tank, right? That's all they were thinking about. It's just like if we can survive the stun lock, then we can actually react and do something. But a if lot they of had the hex on hand yeah. skin, that's probably at least one more kill. Yeah which he's close to now, but here comes the push. Liquid looking to break the base. Mickey, near Satanic, hasn't bought it yet, though. They know there's no Echo Slam. It's 21 seconds also until the air shaker comes up. They're trying to take advantage of this. They can probably get a tower into a shrine here if they want to slow roll it. They've got an Arcane Rune on Kodifa, so they put pressure for more. That Frost Armor proving a nuisance. Limp, not going to try to... Reel anyone back yet. Yeah. That's a big creep way up top. I'm sure that's someone wants to I'm farm. feeling the nature's profit this game now. That top lane all, all the way at the tower, like you said. Hanskin pushing out bottom. He, and he, Astral Bulldog Legacy living on here for Alliance a little bit. Four position. Yes. Only stable 15 where Bulldog's probably like, how is he only 14? I'd be 21. What a trash can. <laughs> Who is this imposter? But he's got Hex, so this is where they now have easier catch set up for that Void rather than having Look to defend so much. Instant smoke, smoke with the Hex. Yep. Quakefoot would be huge. But this, the Tier 1's still up. This is Lots such a risky go. They're going to start it off with a Torrent. They follow up with a Fissure. I, I, 
I just don't think you can commit onto him when you don't see anyone behind him. Like you have no vision. And not, like you said, not that close to that a tower. Is still there, Giannis. It's I think it's also his alliance heroes, and they're going to move forward. They lead with Koikpa. They get off the door, and the Lich instantly deleting him from the fight. And just like that, it's a power play. And now, team for more. Nico Baby hopping away. But the, the, the decisiveness of Liquid, they're just so confident with these wards. It's pretty free. Gets the great Nico. But where's the follow up? EKP from Void instantly beats him down. Did he, did he echo and blue? I think he clipped him in. He looked a little weird. Oh, he looked a little weird on, on, on first time I screwed up. Wait, what? But Rubik? Uh, oh, no, he didn't study that. I thought he thought he was going to do something there. But he got he's still level 4 Torrent, so. But that's a. He doesn't have Echo Slam now anyway. When he comes back up, he's dead 45, but. Yeah, they catch him again. That was one of those ones where you just probably have to die. You know, yeah. or try to blink away. Because. They are reliant on the Echo. Like, Boat is not going to help you against all these boars with BKB and the you know, by the fifty items. I mean, we're seeing they, they need a whole lot in this game right now for this side of alliance for them to do pretty much anything versus Liquid. As it's been Liquid the whole game, right? It was 10 to 4 at one point. Now it's 21 to 6. Alliance There's, has literally only gotten two kills in the last, like, 20 minutes or something. They have never led in this game. And they have never even felt like they're making a comeback. That doesn't really feel like they're even able to make any plays either on the map, right? Like we see them try like once or twice with when they have Echo Slam, but Liquid's Liquid's map read have been absolutely perfect this game. From the warding to them just understanding the moves has been absolutely on the point. I've been seeing Insania throw up circles everywhere and always finding the right read. And like you said, the scans too, right? They've had what four successful scans, maybe more than that. all of them leading to kills. Bottom lane, Insania is coming out here. Here comes Hansky. They're getting him to go. Lots of trouble right now. This ancient apparition, but the trap is sprung. Hansky gets turned on with the duel. That's another duel with 206 stolen damage on this guy. Mamma mia. Yeah. Uh, that's that's but a pretty big. They're trickle. starting to feel it, you know. It's like we're not doing anything. They're just all farming. They're getting farther ahead. We have to do something, even if you get that kill. I mean, who cares, really? It's a five-position ancient apparition. I don't want to say clients are desperate, but they're getting close. They have they got what, like, two, like I said, like two kills in like 15 plus minutes or something. Like that. You definitely are feeling the desperation. You're playing your. You're all in on a 4 protect 1 with your Morphling, and you're playing versus a strong core that's farming incredibly well, so it's definitely, yeah, tough times. This is like core Rubik. I mean, Tyga's got eggs up, he's like 20 already. Pretty much, yeah. And you mentioned there's a lot of good spells to steal this game, so... Now you can do it at a much better frequency. Here's some... Rubik plays could be on the horizon as Hanskin tries to push the lanes out, but Mickey's got a DD and he's got some left on this one. Oh, surprised to see that Hans she took the armor top instead of the Trian summon. I know they feed extra gold and all that, but he's literally just playing the rat game the whole time, so I think he'd take both Trians. It's just a little, little bit pick. Maybe didn't expect it to get this ugly. Fissure comes through. Secondary. Fissure number two comes through. Oh, did he see? Oh, next stop. Fissure. Oh, no. With an Aether Lens, too, so if you, you can see With that. With the Arcane range. Supremacy. That is scary. I just take a free lane of racks. Just Melee down, no sign of a contest. Look at positioning from Liquid. Just look at the position, look at the itemization too, right? Mickey also has Satanic. You were talking about who do you burst out. It's just becoming harder and harder. Their cores have an average of like 3,000 HP and 15 armor with BKP and regen. And multiple different saves, right? They have to press the attack. And, 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 so. and time walk. This is pretty nice stuff, but they're going to try to make a move anyway. The stolen fissure, great interruption on 33. They lift him up, they drop him down, they get the duel. And they should be getting the kill as the Chrono comes through. Mick A got stunned during this. Who will he find? Fada. Oh, the Hex is just not enough. They keep him alive. Press the attack and the double check comes through and Mick A doesn't care. He doesn't give two hoots. He jumps right past them. They the buyback on the shape. He commits forward with an Enchant Totem. There's nothing to follow this up. Who do you go on? They're all so healthy. They've all still got most of their big cooldowns. Quit. So They're showing all three cores in front. They're not even keeping the Legion behind anybody. That is from the side. Nico Baby trying to find a quick way into this fight. They'll start with one enchant totem. They don't get the follow-up. That's an instant disengage. Pressed to remove these annoying single target debuffs. Hex 
Not gonna amount to much. They try to sprout to defend the building. The, the back door is back up, but they look like they should have enough damage to break through with the disarm coming uh, in. Legion needs to get involved. They're throwing a press the attack. No, they got it. And now they're jumping in for more. Mickey's going in. They want Eco Baby. He's got a mix. Retreat. Goes from the back lines. What's the off time? Got huge commitment forward. Gets him with the help of the Nature's Prophet Ult. The gem hits the deck. Is this the opening? The Fissure blocking off Antania. They're going to find him as well. That's two support down. Now, can you kill the cores? BKB, TP away. That's one gone. The other two have safely walked it off. So they get two lands for X. Well, one range standing. And all they lose are supports. Age is still online. Buyback still available. Which kind Very of makes, clean from Liquid. Yeah, which kind of makes sense from what we've talked about with, like, how but they itemized on their cores, right? You look at the way they are. They're so tanking the front line. Looks like Nico Baby's like, I don't want to deal with them anymore. I'm just cutting through to the back. Which Morphin can do this. So you can just jump around and waveform through a lot. Oh, I don't saw this gem. It's just chilling right there, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. unless they're going to send the courier, but... It looks nice mean... because they've had problems with Liquid's deep wards and also just lacking vision on the Radiant's upside. I mean, Liquid's on Scrodation right now. Uh, <laughs> they're going to get... They have... The lines had no idea it actually did drop down as they got that kill. Yoink. Middle but they got a tier one from mid. Oh my god, is Hanskin gonna get it by accident, maybe? Uh, he did open the tree. He's around! Oh, oh, he's oh, he's cliff riding here. That would be really funny. If it's like, oh, he got the gem now! Wait a minute, like... <laughs> yeah, send your courier and actually <laughs> gave them the gem, because they're probably not finding it in those trees. No such luck. By the way, Koikfa, 9,000 gold. Yeah, they got a so, lot. So, uh, what, what are you buying here? <laughs> Or what aren't you buying, right? <laughs> what the heck? I like Hex. Having those instant disables for the move fling will always be super nice as they... You know, they, they're a little limited on the way that they could actually try to lock him down a few of the times, but they haven't even had to. Also. Nico Baby is... He's been very judicious with his BKB use, but it's still down to 7 seconds now. I think he's had this for, what, like 20 minutes or something? It's been a yeah, while. Yeah, it's been a, quite a long time. Because he cut back before he went to Yasha, and then he went back straight for that baby as he felt it. And then, yep, yep X is finished up. Goifa with his own type of lockdown. Jesus. Jesus. And they have an Orchid as well on the Void. Just so many different solutions to try to set up for Nico, baby. And if it's for Protect 1, and they're getting all the single target lockdown, but you would like to have some sort of save. But what do they really have? They have the they rum. Have like Fissure and Rum. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And we've seen Fissure getting stolen now as Balky leads the charge. It's Fada, as usual, so good at breaking up these ganks and just feeding away only a five. They did scan and scout this. Meanwhile, at the top rune, Hanskin gets off the on Koiko. Tries to run away, but Mickey's TP in. They're going to bring in four or five heroes. The whole team is hunting Private Hanskin. Maybe just trying to secure bounty roads, and they're not going to find him. The wild prophet gets away. Looks like they thought a lot more people were coming. How many TPs were used, actually? You said uh, there was a the whole team. Everyone but they already Koikfa. had Koikfa. And look at bottom. Like, he knows it. Like, he's going to be like, wait a minute. No one's addressing this right now. They, they haven't have seen all these heroes, though, I don't Dyer's think. No, I don't think they Maybe they saw fall. one or two. If they can get some type of push, and now Koikfa does have that TP. And he also has good to travel gold available if he does want to. And oh my god, lost money. Yeah, you, they have the money to get triple bots on their court, so... <laughs> <laughs> They're so rich. You can't, you can't just rely on rat. Yeah. But it does allow, it does force them to split up though. That is the one thing. Sure, you're not gonna get any buildings, maybe, but maybe but... you smoke as they exactly. CP out and you know find your little pick off. But okay, you really want the Nitrous prompt there for those ganks because he's the X carrier. So it's still tough for a lot. 35 FK gold lead. 46 minutes in. It has been as close to perfect as you can get in Dota, especially in this patch, especially against Morph Shaker. Yeah. From start to finish so far. Start till now. What's the we'll what's the Dota one. Plus evaluation of this one? 96 last I looked at. It. Let's take a look at what it is now. Right. 99. It's flatlining 99.9 9 or something. Oh, man. With the way Come back playing, to the ages if we'll have to take it. I absolutely. And... Uh, you know, I, I love these liquid guys, but they were the ones at PI to drop many uh, games, especially with Mega Creeps. I think they had, I think, I believe, two games where they lost the Mega Creeps. And Alliance have been something like that. very good at executing. I would say that's been their big strength this tournament, is just the way they play together in fights. But mid lane, Sada getting oh. caught out here. TP away. Oh. Oh. If he just TPs right in front of the void and gets out, then, you know, maybe there's a hook. <laughs> 
he goes down. Has the buyback. Not all that relevant of a hero. The front field is kind of nice, but that's about all you are. God, I'm just not seeing a real way for this Morphling to carry this game by himself at all. It, they're just way too rich. They're acquiring way too many more big items. And They've got their rat extermination strat, and they just threw it. They've got the full, this like full map control forever. So they're always they're getting the Aegis, always getting the cheese. Yes. Beautiful play by Liquid. Aegis on big day, and now he's got the eggs as well. So 60 seconds. Oh, oh, that's that's real nice. Yeah, that's some OS Frog stuff. Yeah, <laughs> he had it queued up actually. He was coming to buy an eggs, and I think it seems like. Oh, it's about half the cooldown of the Echo. Yeah, and it's he's got the talent too, so it's, it's a big one. Oh, speaking of map control as well, they're picking up top rune because when you have map control and you get these double rune spawning, you're Just, very likely to get a DD. Your Admiral is on board. They, they have gotten some decent dire wards out during this time, but with that gem and the Aegis now, I imagine Liquid are just going to start clearing out the jungle. I think they just push bottom and just go go to claim that last rack, so I don't think you have anything to wait for here for Liquid. But but there is a range time, so they'll have to get some. The yeah, they can, they can cut the if they're not, we'll yeah. see. Liquid are in pole position. A lot of clients know that. They are just chilling in the base for the most part. Only the morph and the MP really heading out. Dyer's bottom but it's, it's gold. I'm just going to pull up current gold instead for myself actually at this point. Cause... Surprised there's been a shrine up at this point, but that's going down now too. Another 8,000 on Kofa, 7,000 on Oxy, 6,000 on Mickey. Yeah. These guys are like playing Monopoly where they've had like boardwalk and park plays for a while. People keep landing on them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and oh, look at this one. They might find some subjects here. Uh, maybe. Can they get the Taiga kill? No, not even. See you later, Hanskin. Good luck. Oh, look at that eight on disc pickup. So you can die as Taiga if you just get one shot in by an Earthshake or by an Earthshake or combo. And, oh, it's not likely to happen. 2,400 health on the Rubik. He's not a he's not a quick kill. They're gonna try to immediately pivot to bottom, but there's there's ward here too. I think they. I don't know if they were seen when they smoked. No, very the just bottom. The TC got it. But no control. one did a hit. They are going to make that jump forward. Taiga getting caught up by the Sinister Gaze. The Hex coming through. He gets back for safety. Nico, baby. Can arrive. Can they even kill the stinking Rubik? They're going to come back and change frost. Everything's thrown in for this. And now Boxy's joining the fight a bit late. But he's got the... Oh, he's already used the duel, actually. So, it's not a bit. TP, BKB. Oh, and he gets cashed. That's going to be a dead conco. Oh, Liquid actually got the, they got the Chronosphere on Nico Baby in the back line, but uh, it was actually stuck in trees for a second as the fight, so he had to jump out and they couldn't actually get the kill. It was really close to them getting Nico Baby too. They got the chaotic fight, but I mean, Roof takes like 20 seconds to kill. Yeah. You know, I mean, how are you going to win? And their Morphling just controlled the whole fight anyway in the back line, so it wasn't able to actually get in. They've got a Chrono in 15. You've got a very small window here to make your move if there's just to fight your way through into the back lines. Here comes Nico Baby, gets off the two-hero Fisher. Very nicely done. Oh, 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 oh. Huge plays there. Got the auto attack into an instant E-Blade shot. That's 90 seconds. No Razor. Time to run up your Liquid. You'll set up. BKB is in is not available for some time, so they get one fissure, they get another fissure, they lock him down, and they pull them, kill him once. They do it a second time. They've got a fresh devil chance motive. Timing is there. Minister Gaze to set it up the combo, the chrono, it blocks <laughs> out the summit. He slaps the floor play, kills on one, on to the next. Mobile pack, it just does not matter. Mickey is too big to fail. <laughs> Triple kill for the void. The tips raining down. A 45k gold advantage at 51 minutes. Almost 1k a minute. Beautiful discipline yes. Dota by Liquid. As even when these buybacks come up, they're, they're back up a little bit and giving some respect. They're still yeah. sitting on the, on the hot and waiting for the rest of the team. They didn't even buy back on the raise. They're like, if they get died, it's okay. And we've got one and a half lanes. Lanes are pushing out. There's no Roche for them to steal. No need to take any risks. I'm surprised he got down so quickly anyway from that morph. He got the enchant token and the E-Blade e shaka right now. Instantly. Yeah. That's fast fingers. Yep. But it's only one character. It is indeed. Uh, they have a lot more available for themselves. As, oh, Chronosphere's back up again. So they can look to just continue to push this forward and close the game up. Make 
Okay, fearlessly rotating towards the top lane. That'll be Megas. And now Alliance has to play defensive negation, but There's no probably not for long. Yeah, they're just gonna end it. Speed down the buildings. Bakhti hidden for almost 500, actually closer to 600 shot. The the boat boat totally comes in, they get the hex out onto Mickey, but he just keeps on hitting the building. He doesn't care. He can be committed. Bakhti with the press, the attack. No, the Chrono does only catch Limp here. Not the best Chrono Sphere, but it might be enough. He's going to turn back to Kunkka. It's just high time for the Morph Limp. Don't get cocky, Liquid. They've gotten the kill. MP buyback. Alliance can still fight this a little bit longer. Are they going to go for the base or are they going to back away? Liquid. Hesitate and retreat. Could have just gone straight for kills there, then probably end, or could have just gone all in for the throne, but decide little of both and then play it safe. 52,000 gold lead. Is it 100% when we get? 99. It's we never 100%. Right? We had 100%. Oh, did we? At, at TI, we did, and then it picked from the other favor, which was, you know, that, that's not the way 100%. It's works. never 100. <laughs> there is no such thing. <laughs> Could be 99.999. Fair enough. They rounded up a little bit. As you see, limp spent all oh, people to refresh. I knew I saw an extra boat. I was like, wait, I saw multiple gold fleets going out. Yeah, Limp does have the refresher on there, but it just seems like it doesn't matter. Just he stole a fissure on this Rubik, though. Yeah, he's causing so many problems. I mean, on Liquid really is causing too many problems for a lot to deal with with they're, their single morph. They're gonna have an arcane rune on midday. And another rune. Camping it out. Another rune in 50 seconds, too. They're gonna be double, doing like double, triple runes, maybe. As far as by Backs go. You've got four up on a liquid, zero up on Alliance. Airplane has cooldown, but doesn't have the gold. They're actually not waiting for the 54 minute runes. Just, okay, quick first checking. It's DD top. Hey, I'll take that. Thank you very much. Yep. Let's march down mid. Here Make comes the hit. initiation. Gates there. Forces out the BKB. Calmly backs away. They Fish. committed nothing. He's jumping in again. Nico Babe, hop it back. Gets off the X. Gonna X him back in. I'm off the other direction. Then he hits the 2 hero chrono. Straight onto the two most important heroes. He's gonna first kill up the speaker. Not even gonna bother going for Kiko Baby. Kill his friend and the more plane is helpless. It's not protected. It's not thrown for it. The GG. It is called. The game is won.